Hi everyone, in this video I'll tell you how to simply make a car body or cowl in a very simple way. In this case I'll be making a plastic screen for Tesla Cyber Quad. For this purpose I took a 5mm wire, which should be further straightened into level bars. If you have a chance to buy wire in bars you'd better do it as it takes a lot of time for straightening. I won't use foam plastic or assembly foam, everything will be made of wire carcass. The frame will be welded on the frame through studs made of the same wire. I started working from below and welded the first two studs. I welded a threshold element from the bar to them so that it fits in proportions and cannot hit the chain. Now we have something to make a start from and we can weld the next verges of the body. A bolt cutter is quite good for this work as you can't reach every corner with the grinding machine. First I welded one side and then made similar on the other side. Then I began to connect two sides with a pyramidal lid. Eventually I finished the back side. There's left a nose flap cowl which I welded separately from the frame. Looks like the textures were removed from a 3D model. Now we can move to the second stage, frame tightening with elastic material. In this case the material will be a lycra fabric in the amount of 2 linear meters. I found no suitable scissors for this fabric at home and cut it with a construction knife. I decided to try on the front shield. In the process of covering the ordinary clothes pegs were helpful. After fitting we need to remove the pegs and superglue will keep the fabric on the frame. It impregnates the fabric perfectly and adheres to the metal framework. I accelerated the glue setting with a special spray. The fabric is stuck to the framework and now we need to soak it with polyester resin. An hour later the resin hardened and the material became like reinforced polyethylene. A day later it became like plastic for drums. The experiment was successful, therefore the same thing can be done with the entire framework. I removed everything that could get dirty from the frame and continued my work. By the way this fabric cuts well with a hot knife. I'll make everything by analogy with the front board but it will be more difficult as there are internal verges. I decided to sew the fabric to the framework with ordinary threads. I impregnated the ready seam with the glue.
All unnecessary tissue on the edges was cut with a knife. I made the same thing on the other side, but I didn't use any threads here as the whole fabric was successfully glued. There's only left to cover the lid, and we can soak it with resin. At this stage if we don't like something in proportions it is always possible to tear off the fabric and redo the framework. Here's a body we got, but leaving it in this form makes no sense, as it can be pierced by any branch, and there are many defects on it. We need to reinforce the body with a glass mat. That will be better to do it from the inside, but I did it from the outside as I don't want to cut the frame away at this stage, and all the same we need to finalize the body with putty. For convenience I'll soak the glass mat on the table, and only then apply it to the fabric. After drying we got a strong fiberglass body. I began refining it with the cutting of protrusions at the edges. Before applying the putty, I removed most of the irregularities with an orbital machine. The fiberglass turned out to be thick, and I looted in conventional two-component putty. For confidence we can putty it with fiberglass mass. 10 minutes later the putty dried, and I began to treat the surface with sandpaper. It took 2 kilograms of putty for the whole project. Then I primed the aligned surface. I decided not to touch the place under the seat, later I'll glue it with fiberglass plastic. Now it's time for sides. To make them I screwed the strip, I'll weld the wire frame to it and also cover it with fabric. Thus I made all four sides and coated them with resin. This is how Cyberquad looks like in assembled condition. If you like this method of making plastic for Cyberquad put your thumbs up. If you need sizes write about in comments. In the meantime thanks everyone for your attention. See you in the next part.